Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aries. And it's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Aries placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. At the end, I will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, Aries, so I appreciate your patience. And time is elusive. We are all on different timelines. For some of you, this has already happened. This could be happening now. For some of you, this has not happened yet. So, first card out your strongest energy for the week is the Nine of Cups, followed by a major archon of the High Priestess. Pisces, Cancer, and energy could be important to you. We also have here major arcana, the strength card, Leo energy, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the King of Cups, and major arcana, the Moon card, Pisces, Cancer energy, bottom of the deck, the Page of Cups. So basically every cup in town, okay? That's what you're dealing with this week, Aries. Lots of emotions, lots of heart space energy. Oh my goodness, Queen of Cups. We're in our feelings, Aries. Yeah, that's the time we're in. That's the time we're in. Or you're dealing with a water sign that is absolutely just in it. The the emotions of things. But there's a lot of suppression here, too. This high priestess is, is giving me a sense of suppression. That's usually a sense of silence or not speaking or not, you know, saying everything that we are thinking. The letter B and J could also be important to you. But luckily, I do see the Six of Swords here, which is telling me this sort of um, dance that we're doing with somebody, we are going to move on from it. Could even be someone that you um, already have some, uh, some sort of established relationship with. There definitely could have been some sort of conflict here in the past. Because this Ten of Swords tells me, you know, there definitely could have been an ending. But an ending to a particular way of thinking, an ending to a particular cycle an ending to a particular dynamic because the ten of swords does indicate whatever sort of reality that we're experiencing that's over with we're not going to be experiencing that no more okay that's the final stage of that we've learned it we got the t-shirt it's time to move forward because there's a lot of emotional okay i see what we're ending we're ending uh, the detachment somebody that you were connected to friend family member lover whoever it is sibling very detached human being uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, not necessarily, but could definitely have that in their chart. Very detached human being, and it's keeping them from all this emotion. It's like an over oversurge almost. A dam is about to break for somebody here. Because there does seem to be some sort of separation between you and this person. You, on the other hand, you pick your side of the story. Because I do see someone here that very much wears their heart on their sleeve. They're not afraid to show love, and then they're dealing with someone that's quite the opposite. That's whoever's coming to this Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, reducing the swords. Because the reality is they feel the same. Queen, king, king, king. <laughs> king of Cups, see, I can't even say it. King and Queen of Cups. This is, this is two people that have a lot of love for each other, genuine love for each other, pure love for each other. The yin to the yang. Ideal. But one is very open with their love. One, you know, not so much. This person more so does things, acts of service to, for you to get the hint. But will they say it? <laughs> Not usually, right? It takes a long time, which is more so tapping into this King of Swords energy. Someone that's very detached, not really good at expression. Someone that also lives in their head. The expression could be also very small. They do express, but very small in comparison to the Queen of Cups who will like move mountains for you. Tell you I love you every day. Leave you little notes. You know, make you your favorite uh, cookie. So I do see there's been some sort of ending here with the Ten of Swords. There is a certain silence. I do think this Queen of Cups has gone into uh, self-preservation silent mode. Not saying much because probably I've already said enough. Because it's no longer this Queen of Cups. It's time to talk. It's now for this time for this King of Swords to turn into this King of Cups. Which is going to require strength, obviously. Leo. It's also about pride. It's also a sense of um, withholding. You know, taming the beast. The beast wants to scream on the, on the rooftop, jump on the couch, but it's being masked by this king of swords. But we're moving away from that. We are moving away from that. And I think the whole reason why someone didn't want to, because there's definitely a sense of fear. Definitely a sense of fear. But this also indicates that there's a lot of emotion here. 
very overwhelming also emotion that could also be why there's some fear surrounding expressing and letting someone know just how much you care because it's like a sense of power right or at least the perception of it but we also have the ace of cups which is all about renewal the three of cups which is all, all about getting back together because that's exact that's what we want at the end of the day that's it. there's no doubt that we are ideal we are we're, we're the, we make great friends we make great partners we make great lovers you know the nine of cups and look we have the ten of cups here a lot of cups a lot of cups so someone's learning a lesson definitely within themselves which is all about the magician it's all about self okay it's like what's more important being right or being happy See, very small, like, eh, hey, when really it's like, I want to shout it from the rooftop. Very small. But it could just be this person's way that they have grown up. You know, very sort of um, non-affectionate person. But they feel it, though. They definitely feel it. There's definitely a conversation happening. One that this person has been deliberating having for a very long time. But look at all this page energy. So this could also be telling me that... um. This person's open to learn. They're open to be taught your particular love languages or, you know, maybe they're not used to being in a dynamic where they actually care enough or they have never been in, you know, a lot of, you'd be surprised how much people have not been in a serious relationship or haven't really had someone who's actually cared about them. They don't know how to act. And that's just reality. If you've never experienced something, you have no idea how to sort of, you know, it's the experience that makes us able to deal with diff different things. So I do think this person is in a learning curve because I do think there is regret for however they showed up. And look, we have the Gemini energy major arcana, so it's definitely making a choice. And what are they choosing? Love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time. It's time. Here comes the conversation that is going to innately balance things out. Libra energy. Okay, let's get into it. Romance reading. If this is for you, Aries. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Yeah, kind of got that. That high, high priestess sort of speaks to it, kind of speaks to two people sort of in their own corner with the high priestess and the magician. And we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here. I'd say so. King and Queen of Cups. I'd say so. Guidance, please, for Aries. Aries. Thank you. Bring love, bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So you're definitely dealing with someone that is not, um, you know, they definitely could have grew up in a household where saying I love you and giving hugs and kisses was not a thing. So they've, you know, they don't, <laughs> Queen of Cups over here, smothering them. It might feel like that initially because it's something they're not used to, but the realization is that's exactly what they want. That's exactly what they need. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Lots of water and air. All right, let's get one of these for you, Aries. Some of you, Aries, this is you. This is definitely you. That um, is learning this lesson. You're not used to the, the cuddly and, the, you know, and you're with someone or about to meet someone that's very not afraid to show love. And that's going to maybe trigger you a little bit. But the, the this, this lover's card here is also telling me that this person has free will. So, so for some of you, this, this person might, the fear might be too much. But for, I believe most of you, this person is, you know. If this is your reading, then. Unlikely. Not quite sure what's unlikely with that. Oh, okay. And yes. Okay. So, we have progress. Something that was unlikely is now starting into a yes in the near future. Okay. Guidance, please, for Aries. Aries. Thank you. Okay. Celebrating simplicity. I am more fulfilled when there is less to manage and maintain. So it's lightening the load. That's giving me ten of um ten of wands vibe, but we do have here the ten of swords. So definitely a sense of lightening the load. This is a lot of this, these swords are self-inflicted. A lot of people like to play the blame game, but like how many times does the same thing happen to you before you take accountability for you allowing it to happen to you? The first two, three swords. Yeah, OK. But I mean, 
Come on. Ten swords? You got you got stabbed ten times? Either by the same thing or by the same sort of um, you know, situation. But this is more so you need to get out of your mind. Your mind is um an enemy of progress. That's what I just heard. Someone's mind frame, the way they, they see things, the way they have come to understand things, definitely becoming a hindrance. Guidance, please, for Aries. Aries. Thank you. Narcissist, this also came out for Capricorn. Someone is full of themselves, but this is in theirs too. This was giving me a sense of reflection because you can see it's the reflection. Very quick to this kind of tying back to and we're very quick to point the finger. But are we ever quick to sort of self? Maybe we got these same tendencies because we all got them, believe it or not. We all got them. Move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. That's for some of you. Some of you, you're the one that needs to make this choice to sort of leave something behind once and for all. Guidance, please. Could definitely be a mindset. I think it's more so a mindset of the way you choose to perceive things, the, choose, the way the things you choose to believe. That could definitely be what needs to get 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 on. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. Number twenty-seven, number twenty-five, which is a seven. <laughs> Learn from the past. Elephants never forget. But this is about wisdom. This is not about carrying old grudges. You know? All right. That is your reading. So Aries, hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.